Patreon member shout out. You can offer me a diamond plated pearl. You can send me all the riches in the world. You can tempt me with the palaces of kings. But I give them back in a big old sack and keep the simple things. I've got the simple things. I've got the rain in spring. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. Guys, if you're new, welcome, if you're like, welcome back. I love you all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Commenting, liking, subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non free ways are Patreon and smashing that thanks button down below. Also, comment down below if you like Mr. Wins the Simple Things. So, uh, today was a brutal day for the markets. Bitcoin down almost 6%. Every, you know, the Dow, SP 500, NASDAQ all down over 3%. You'd expect Omi to be down like 10% given that news but it wasn't. Uh, Omi was down, but it did outperform Bitcoin and the market, so it was down almost 2%. And now it's hard to think like why, like normally it does what the market does, but you know, times 10. Well, as I said yesterday, and as we are taking a look at it today, we still have that giant, giant buy wall, which is a order that did change. It was 101 million, now it is 105 million. They added to that order. Uh, and that's why, like, is it, it's, getting closer to being filled but but not really i mean we've we've had it down to one point or point zero zero one three one and that particular buy order is at point zero zero one three just zero zero repeating and that someone wants it to stay up here so so either either someone wants that or it's a fake out and someone's like we'll wait till it gets down there and we'll switch it to a sell order you know whatever it is i don't know but clearly right now the way it looks at evidence points that someone wants it to stay down I don't know how you, some people are calling for three zeros. I, I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, we, we did outperform pretty much everything today. Ethereum down 10%, BNB down over 6%, Cardano over, down over 6%, Solana down over 8 Dogecoin down over 7 Polkadot down over 7 pretty much everything except for a couple of things like st stable coins were the only thing. Stable coins were the only thing that outperformed, uh, Omi today in the top 10 and even going further beyond actually going to the top 16 going to the top 18 anything below that we did have leo token uh which was number 19 and it only was down 0.8 percent so Omi outperformed the top the top 18 which is extraordinary for it plus the market so i'm really really happy with that some news in general, the top brand intimacy 2022 rankings are out. And we go to top 15, it is Mazda, it is Costco, Jaguar, Porsche, Nintendo, number 11, Android, number 10, Sega is number nine. And I think the only thing carrying Sega just really has to be Sonic. It had two successful movies, has a bunch of successful video games, but like, I don't know how Sonic gets ahead of Nintendo as an intimacy 2022 ranking. Maybe because Sonic the movie came out earlier this year, number two, and that it's really good. And, and kids really love Sonic. Anyway, just a little tidbit of information there. Uh, Netflix at number eight, Trader Joe's at number seven. I don't know what that symbol is for number six. Is that Toyota? <laughs> Not sure. YouTube number five, shout out. Uh, Sony number four, Apple at number three, Tesla at number two, and Disney at number one as the top intimate brand of Sony. Now again, I don't know how accurate this is because Sega is above Nintendo. I don't think that should be, but um, it is. there's no argument that Disney is number one. So I just thought that was really interesting because we have Disney. So when Akomi had tweeted yesterday, it's hard to believe it's been four years since today, uh, since we've released our first interview with Al Khan. So much has changed since then. Who was around when we first released this? And Eva from Vivi University said, we want to see more of Al Khan. And of course, David Yu says, you want to see more Al Khan as in YU. So I'm very, very excited for uh, for him to come on. David Yu's hairline drew Al Khan smoking a cigar with a Pikachu chain, and David Yu seems to like that, saying, you are good. Drop your favorite speculation on what you think they're rolling out Al Khan for. I mean, he is the major head of licensing that is just a behemoth, and you know, when he speaks, you shut up and listen. So I'm really curious what you guys think, your favorite theory on what is being announced, if anything is announced, if he's just coming in and saying like, hey, these are our plans. Um, it could be major IP, it could be Cabbage Patch Kids, anything that he's had a hand in over the last 30 years. We do have some news from Utility Day saying, uh, some of the merchandise we will be giving to some lucky collectors with our World of Women drop. All their collectibles act as raffle tickets to receive benefits such as t-shirts, goodie bags, trips, party invites, concerts, and much, much more. One of the t-shirts right there, and then the other one right there. Again, that was from the World of Women stuff. 
Outside of World of Women, we do have other high quality and fun collectibles and expect to see other things from CryptoPunks, Rewind Collective, and Bored Apes, among many others. You heard that right, Bored Apes. And I have had a few questions about who the owners or owners are, and uh, they are not doxxed as of yet, but they will be. Again, I know who they are because that's how they got me into the project, but they will announce that on Monday. It will be on my stream. You will go and see an announcement. Um, I'll have the owners on for a quick podcast, let them know, and some other announcements as well. You guys will be very excited. You guys will 100% know. And yes, they have eyebrows like me. Link for the Utility Discord down below. Go check them out. And if you want to learn more about that, a great way is by joining that Discord, like I said, link down below, but also they, they have something called Sneak Peeks in there where you get to know information before it's announced on Twitter. Like I said, follow the money and see what they're doing. See the people that have money, see what they're doing. The Todd Father, is he going and selling him stuff? His, all of his things? No. He says he's still adding to the ducks. He now has 269 duck editions. I'm going to comment nice down below for the 69. Moving on, we do have Brock McBlockchain, aka at Brock McBreadcat, over on Twitter saying, Be careful retweeting someone from uh, someone named Emmanuel, or I'm sorry, Romaniac, saying, OpenSea is garbage. They are allowing a collection that is a complete scam to show as one of their top 15 collections by volume. Be careful. Just because it's on OpenSea doesn't mean it's real. There is a lot of things on there. People selling, you know, Disney and DC NFTs, and that's not licensed at all. You, you can't do that. And they will be cracking down. Uh, so definitely heed Brock McBlockchain's word and be careful. There was a rumor going around today saying that Ron English was doing a comic with Vivi and, wor and a working jukebox. I haven't been able to find anything on it. Comment down below if you have any links for that. Again, it was just a rumor. I couldn't see where he announced it or Vivi announced it. Uh, maybe it was in like a clubhouse or Discord that I'm not privy to. Uh, so let me let me know below if that's that's true or if that's just fake news. Sotheby's is one of the major auction houses, might be the number one auction house in the world where you can buy really cool things, comic books, Pokemon cards, all the good stuff. And CNET Cars had uh, tagged them in a post saying that Pixar-inspired Porsche 911 Sally special sells for $3.6 million, all to charity. Why do I think that's important? Just because it's Pixar. We have Pixar. It's fun. And people really like collecting things that, have a, that, they, that they enjoy. Though Altcoin Daily did feature Omi in their top nine altcoins, and we were number two. So I'm very, very excited about that. Go search Altcoin Daily. It's at the 3 minute 25 mark if you want to go and watch and see what they say. <laughs> Shout out to Synth Daddy that has a, a couple hundred thousand followers over on the uh, over on the Twitter and will be coming on the show on Sunday night. Can't wait for that. That'll be pretty fun. I think it's going to be 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the next day, I will have the owners of the... Uh, utility project on. So that'll be very exciting as well. So it's going to be a great week. <laughs> also, I'm going to go and uh, do another video on the VV community update that just launched. I will catch you all later. Um, no time for that. All right, I got to go watch. All right, everybody, goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.